Hello everybody and welcome back to Odin's Movie Vlog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well. And today we're going to be talking about the new Mulan trailer that just dropped. Do I care? Not really, because it just looks like, once again, another completely unnecessary remake of a, you know, a live-action remake of an animated version. Like, to honestly, I will say, like, just looking at the actual, uh, the way that the film is being presented here, and I just want to talk a little bit about this. This is Disney released first footage of the upcoming live-action remake of Mulan, starring Chinese-American actress Liu Yifei in the teaser debuted during the halftime of FIFA World Cup. Oh, boy. That's what I wanted to hear. It debuted during halftime of the FIFA Women's World Cup. You mean the World Cup that nobody watched? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and take that salt. Yeah, bring bring all the salt, please, because everyone's gonna be watching the Gold Cup tonight instead. But anyway, <laughs> soccer references aside, I will say that the the trailer to me is very unimpressive. Like just from an objective standpoint, taking myself out of the whole Disney boycott, which I, again I'm still fully behind because I'm not going to see this film and I'm not going to pay this film, and I don't recommend any of you pay to see this film. I must say that I think that they went out of their way to try and find someone with a look, and hopefully I don't know I don't know they they don't reveal anything of her about her singing, but uh, Lou. Uh, Lou Yifei, I'm I'm really not that impressed with her as an, you know, obviously it's a trailer, it's a teaser trailer, it's not a lot of footage, but every single scene she's in, she literally has the same expression on her face. There is no difference. It reminds me a lot of another film that came out starring another female performer, Captain Marvel, Brie Larson, where again, it was the same emotion every single time she was on screen and it would just look boring. This thing looks the same. She just looks like she's very green. And I don't know if that's what they were trying to go for. I don't know if they were just going for her because she had the right look that they were going for. I don't know. Maybe she, she blew everybody away with her singing performance because we don't get any of that in here. All I can say is that I'm overall really not that impressed with this first trailer. There's a couple of actors in there that overall I, I'm, I'm liking. You know, I really do think that it's it's really cool. That being said, I, I do under, I do kind of... Ah, it just so it's so frustrating because obviously I would love just to ignore all these things, but it really does need to be talked about because obviously people are going to be, you know, making videos about this, making video reactions, making all these other things. And there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be talking about it saying, oh man, I'm a Disney show and I'm going to love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And I think it's important for us to have opposing views out there because I'm sorry, but if you're going to honestly look at this trailer and you're going to say that, oh my God, she looks so damn good. She looks so amazing. What are you looking at? What performances are we looking at? Because she, again, same expression every single time, but also too, they pretty much have it being a, a very grounded film. They didn't use a lot of CGI. They're there isn't a lot of crazy special effects that I could see at the very least. I'm sure once the battles come around, they'll probably use some CGI there. But the one most important thing, though, is that everything was pretty much being done, you know, as as it should be as a live action film. Up until the last battle scene that they show where Mulan does this crazy flipping thing that defies physics and defies reality. That I was not a fan of either, because guess what? You saw the same bored face. <laughs> and again, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to personally attack Lou here. But what I'm trying to point out is that it just was lacking any emotion whatsoever. But what was even worse about it is the fact that you had this unrealistic thing happen. And I just really do think that they are just pushing this way too much, and especially with all the rumors about how they're going to change certain elements of the story because they actually have her fighting or learning to fight even before she leaves. And I'm not really a big fan of that because I would much rather her you know, actually get the actual training that she needs at the camp instead. But of course, you know, for, for all I know, they could be changing so many different things. But also, as even Variety notes out, two people that were missing from this trailer were Mushu and Kriki, the cricket from the original live action. And there's rumors that Mushu might not actually have a part in this film. Now, if they're doing that because they want it to be live action and they want it to be completely realistic, okay, I can understand that choice. I think it's a bad choice because one of the best parts of Mulan is Eddie Murphy's Mushu, and I think that if you're trying to get anyone back, again, just thinking, just trying to think, trying to help you, Disney, here, if you want to get people back in the seats, one of the best ways to do that is to hire Eddie Murphy to do the voice of Mushu once again. Now, it's going to be really crappy CGI, I'm sure, but hey, at least you might get some people back in seats saying, oh, it's going to be like the old movie instead. It's like what you do with Lion King when you brought back, uh, you know, when you brought back Mufasa, and you, when you brought that actor back, you know, obviously uh, people are going to say, oh my gosh, I want to see it because I want to hear that voice again. I want to hear that booming voice. I want to hear Darth Vader speaking to me once again. You know, James Earl Jones. But I really do think that this is not that impressive. And also the fact that they released it during a Women's World Cup, which barely anyone was watching in the first place, I think is, again, just them totally pandering to their audience, totally pandering to the story that the film is going to be, and totally pandering to what the message they're going to try and get across with this, which is, again, them, and they've been, they're very good at it lately. I mean, just the recently, you had the casting ch casting choice for Little Mermaid, and some people are, have been like, I don't see what the big deal is. Why are you freaking out? You're just racist. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, it's, it's total just pandering at this point, and I think that anyone who can just look at it honestly can understand that they did not choose that because she's the best actress for the role. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I just, I don't buy that. You want to know why? Because there are literally a countless number of actors and actresses out there that can all perform a role in the same capacity there's not one perfect person for a role again the one exception you could really talk about would be robert downey jr as iron man because he really like in real life became tony stark and lived out that character's life uh, as his own 
but that's a very rare thing to happen. And even then, there are definitely people out there that could also play Tony Stark as well, if not possibly even better. Again, no one thought that we were going to get a better iteration of the Joker, but honestly, I think that Joaquin Phoenix could end up being some people's favorite Joker, even up against someone's performance as Amazing as Heath Ledger. The whole point of it is to try and say that there isn't just one person for one role. And I think that instead of going for the look here, and again, if she has a beautiful voice, maybe I'll be like, okay, well, they cast her for the voice. That's good to know. But if she doesn't have a beautiful voice, or if they decide to keep the songs out of it, which would be a terrible decision, I think, um, which again, fine with me, because that means your movie's probably not going to do as well. But if you're going to, if you have to do this, if you have to do a remake, Disney, at least do it right. At least cast an actor or actress that can actually convey emotion instead of giving the same damn emotion every single time. You didn't learn your lesson with Captain Marvel. It doesn't look like you're learning a lesson with this either. But anyway, guys, what else thoughts? Have you seen this trailer? Are you excited for it? Again, I, I just, I don't think that the, it was a good casting based on what we saw. And I don't care if it's, oh, it's just a minute trailer. Yes, but you have to understand these minute and a half trailers are cutting scenes from all different parts of the movie. And if you have the same expression on in all these different parts of the movie, it kind of lends credence to the understanding and to the belief that it's not going to be changing anytime soon. But again, could be wrong on that. She could have an amazing, amazing, beautiful voice, and that could be why they cast her. But overall, I am not that impressed here. And the boycott still stands. So anyway, are you excited for Disney's Mulan? I think that if you're going to watch this movie, go watch the animated version. If you already own it, don't go out of your way to buy it because, again, boycott Disney. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, smash the like button, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe. You're all amazing and beautiful people. Have a wonderful day, and as always, God bless.